What's going on guys? How you doing? Gypsy Danger 7 is back with the fourth and final video of the day and this one's gonna be a tough one. But it's where I stand on this whole $15 an hour debate. You know, raising the minimum wage. First and foremost, right here, right now, as a Christian conservative, I stand with God first. I stand with Jesus Christ first before I stand with politics and worldly views. I stand by the biblical teachings of this world, not the world's teachings of the Bible. Let me explain. Publix, Walmart, two very different retailers, but yet Publix can keep their prices better than Walmart and pay their employees $20 an hour, whereas Walmart uses the excuse, if I raise my wages for my employees, I have to raise the prices of my goods. Bullcrap. Because Publix can do it, Walmart can do it. If Publix can do it, McDonald's can do it. If Publix can do it, so can Burger King, so can Wendy's, so can Target. Here's my point. In the Bible, it teaches us it is a sin to keep people down. It is a sin to pay people poorly. It is a sin to keep people poor. If God says it's a sin, then God bless it. It's a sin. If Publix can pay their employees $20 an hour and still keep prices better than you, Walmart, what are you doing wrong? And you're bigger than Publix. Therefore, you should be paying your, your employees better, aren't you? I mean, the people who own Walmart are billionaires. And no, not the single billionaires, double-digit billionaires. There's like four of them, I think, and each have their own worth of double-digit billions. And you mean to sit there and tell me they can't pay their employees a righteous, livable wage? McDonald's is a world-renowned fast food restaurant. World-renowned. They make billions upon billions of dollars every day around this world. And you mean to sit there and tell me they can't pay their employees $15 an hour. Well, that proves to me if Publix can keep their prices low and still pay their employees $20 an hour, that means Walmart and McDonald's and Burger King and Target, all of them are just using their, their pay for what? Massive executive compensation. Meaning the top dogs get all the money while their employees got to live paycheck to paycheck, which is a sin. And where do I get this biblical teachings about keeping people poor? Paying people poor is a sin. Book of Malachi chapter 3. Yes, the whole chapter. No, not chapter 3 verse 1. Chapter 3 verse 2. Uh, uh, uh. The entire chapter. As a matter of fact, there's four chapters in the book of Malachi. Read it all. Specifically chapter 3. And you'll know why. You'll see where and what does God say about it? What does Jesus teach us say about that? Keeping people poor is a sin. Paying people poor is a sin. There is no excuse. If Publix can do it, why can't you? Walmart, Target, McDonald's. There's no need for those kiosks. And for you Christian conservatives that make fun of these burger flippers. Yeah, get back and get righteous with Jesus and get back to that Bible and start reading it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that the super rich people just say, here's my money, take it all. Wrong. But they have more than enough to pay their workers a righteous livable wage. And no, I'm not saying that the people burger flipping should be buying a Bugatti. Uh-uh. But they should reserve a righteous livable wage. And for those who make the argument, oh, well, they should increase, you know, they should go to college and increase their life and do better for themselves. Let's just keep it real. For a lot of Americans, that's just not attainable. That's just not feasible. It's just the bottom line. That's the way it is. That's the reality of life. And if you're going to sit there and say that, that you're part of the problem too, get back to that Bible and read it. 
Malachi chapter 3. As you can see, it's been bugging me for a long time. Because I was one of those conservative Christians that made fun of burger flippers. I was one of those Christian conservatives that was putting down people who were trying to work and make a livable wage and fight for a livable wage. Until I got back with the Bible. Until I see things through the eyes of God and see things through the teachings of Jesus Christ. Not through being because I'm a Christian conservative, I got to follow what the Republicans say. No, they're part of the problem too. You see, price gouging is a problem, by the way. This is how you keep people poor. When greedy corporations see that they're paying their people more, oh, now they want to raise the prices because you could afford it. Okay? Specifically Democrats, and like I said, Republicans are guilty as this, but specifically Democrats, I give you states that are ran by Democrats, cities that are ran by Democrats, and what you got? High crime, high taxes, gentrification, rat-infested hell holes like Baltimore and L.A. and San Francisco, the bubonic plague making a back on this, making a comeback in the streets of L.A. So I say to you, Walmart. Target, McDonald's, take a page out of Publix's playbook and find out how you could pay your workers better than what you're paying them now and still keep prices low. And I say to you greedy corporations, to you greedy politicians, stop price gouging. Just because you see people that make you rich, just because you see your constituents make more money, does not mean you have the right to take more and tax them more. So take a page out of the Bible and get righteous. So that's the video. If you learned something from this, if you're inspired from this, please hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Greatly appreciate it. Also, if we want to support this channel, Cash App, PayPal link, the Cash App promo code will be in the description box below. That's it for today. Like I said, this video is going to be a tough one, but this video was something I felt I had to do. It was very personal to me because this is what's been on my mind these past couple of days. And believe me, it feels good to finally let it all out. As a Christian conservative, yes, I stand with God. I stand with Jesus Christ and I stand with people fighting to make a righteous livable wage because it's about time. And we need to address the real issue and that is price gouging. Remember, Malachi 3 teaches us in the Bible, it is a sin to pay people poorly and it is a sin to keep people poor. Brothers and sisters, are you with me? God bless you all. Jesus loves you all. Holy Ghost guides you all. Later.